You've just completed the checkout process. In this example, we've ordered two maps, Michigan and Wisconsin. There's a download button for each. Right click on the download button and choose Save Link As or something similar. It may be different in your web browser. And it'll ask where you want to save it to. The default location for this computer is the downloads folder. Yours may be different. Doesn't matter where you save it, just make sure you know where it is so that you can find it later. And do the same for all of the maps that you've bought. The files are finished downloading and we're in our downloads folder, which is where we saved the files. Uh, you're gonna have to run each of the maps you've bought. So we'll start with Michigan here. Double click on the file to run it. Here we have RPM Map Installer. This program will install the map on your computer, not on your GPS. That'll be the next step. Here you have the license agreement. Look through that. Click I accept the agreement. And then the next button. It'll ask you where you want to save the map. Um, it's recommended you save it in the default location. So click Next. And here's a summary of what's going to happen. Click the Install button. And now it's installing the map on your computer. When you're done, if you have more maps to install, just do finish. If uh, this is the last map you have to install, you can click the I'm done uh, run map source now button. Or if you don't have map source, this will say I'm done run RPM map loader now. And click finish. Once you've finished installing the maps, you'll have a shortcut on your desktop called RPM map loader. You can double click on that to run it. Or it is located in your redpinemapping.com folder, which is in the location you chose to save it in the previous step. Now you've run the GPS map loading system. You can read the introduction here and click Next. At this point, you'll want to connect your GPS to your computer. Put the SD card in the SD card slot if it's so equipped, and then hook it up to your computer with the USB cable. Or you may insert an SD card uh, into your computer's built-in SD card slot or a card reader and save the map to the SD card that way. Now you'll see a list of maps you have installed on your computer. The overlay versions are transparent and trails only and are intended to be used with other maps such as Garmin's Topo and the other versions are complete and have their own lakes, rivers, and roads. Check which maps you want to install on your GPS and click Next. At this point, you can save to an SD card or save to the internal memory on the GPS. If your GPS has internal memory and an SD card, such as the Nuvi, Zumo, and Oregon series, it's recommended that you save your maps to the SD card, so select SD card. If your GPS has no SD card slot, select internal memory. If you do choose SD card, the next screen will be a list of devices you have connected to your computer, including your GPS and the SD card. Choose the SD card from the list, not the GPS itself, and then click Next. You'll now see the maps that are going to be loaded onto your GPS. If that's the correct list, click Send Maps. While this is happening, the program will be unresponsive for up to a few minutes. The screen means the maps have been transferred to your GPS, and at this point you can view the GPS usage instructions, which will give you information on turning the maps on in your GPS and routing. And click Finish, and if you've selected the instructions, you'll see those now. You can now unplug your GPS and turn it on. You'll need to enable the map in your GPS's map menu, and the process for doing that is outlined in this GPS map usage instructions file. If this file fails to open on your computer, the document can also be found on our website at redpinemapping.com support.